In this Helix Minute, we're going to show how to edit effect blocks on a Helix family product. Let's navigate to Setlist 1, Preset 1A. Then press the mode footswitch to enter the Stomp Box footswitch mode. Lightly touch the corresponding dark orange footswitch to see the reverb parameters in the main display. These can now be edited using knobs 1 through 6. You can turn any block on or off by selecting the corresponding footswitch or by pressing the bypass button. If you want to change to a different model in the same category, or of the same type, just turn the joystick on the right side of the main display. You can also change blocks. Let's say you want to change this reverb block to an EQ block. Press the joystick, then move to the left. Turn the joystick to the EQ block. Now move to the right to select the EQ of your choice, then press down to activate. You can also move a block by using the action button. Select action and you'll notice the EQ block is raised. Use the joystick to move the block where you need it. Then select action to set. The action menu also gives the option to copy, paste, clear a single block, or even clear all blocks. To copy, select action, then press knob 1 to copy the block. For example, you could move down to signal path 2 and paste the block by selecting action and pressing knob 2. You can also clear a block by selecting action and pressing knob 3. To clear all blocks, select action, press knob 4, then press OK on knob 6. That's it for this Helix Minute. If you would like to learn more about Helix Family products, please visit line6.com for more videos. Thanks for watching.